Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and actually welcome to a new series. Now, a couple of weeks ago in the channel, the new community feature where you can post, post, I put up a poll uh, asking who would like to see this kind of series in the channel. I've done a lot of FM experiments in the past, so today we are actually going to be doing a FIFA experiment. Something a bit different from FM, but I'm going to try and keep this as regular as I can, not to the point where I'm overdoing it and it's just becoming bland and boring, to the point where I'm doing maybe one a week or one every two weeks, switching between FIFA and FM and just going through different experiments that we could try in the games to see things that we'd like to see in real life, but put into this. It's not the most original idea in the world, but I'm going to try and make it as interesting as possible. Today's one, as you already know by the title, um, is we're going to be trying the La Liga teams. The big teams, Barcelona, Real Madrid, they're classical teams in the Premier League. Barcelona, Real Madrid, there they are, 7th and 13th place heading into the season. On alphabetical order, may I add. There they are. It's going to be a big season we're going to test for years, you know. Barcelona and Real Madrid have been dominating club football European-wise. They've been winning the Champions League for about 10 years. They have been the dominant sides in European football, mostly Barcelona, and a lot, of, uh, a lot of the English teams have been trying to catch up, and them play to the same sort of standard, and it's just not happened. English football has been kind of in the shadows, European-wise, to teams like Barcelona and Real Madrid. So we're going to put it on a weekly basis test here, and we're going to see if Real Madrid and Barcelona can keep up in the Premier League with the likes of the Premier League big boys, Man United, Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea. We're going to see if they can do it week in, week out. Who will win that? Who will win the Capital One Cup? Who will win the... It's not the Capital One Cup anymore, it's the Carabao. Who will win the FA Cup? And um, who will, you know, finish top scorer? Can Messi and Ronaldo play as good in this league? Can Ronaldo replicate what he done at Man United? Can Messi adapt to this new league? We're soon going to find out. Uh, I'll quickly go back to the league table. As you can see, we've replaced Brighton and Huddersfield. I'm in charge of Newcastle just for the sake of it. Don't worry, doesn't matter. Nothing to do with Newcastle will be relevant. But the league table is set up. Barcelona and Real are still in European competition also, so they've got to balance that. Now, we're going to do this in stages. As you can see, Barcelona very early on for Newcastle. We're going to go through halfway in the season, and we're going to see what it's like. If you enjoy this, you make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It would be much appreciated, and let me know if you do enjoy it. But we'll come to more of that at the end. So, we're going to sim halfway through the season, and we'll see what happens with Barcelona and Real Madrid in the first half of the Premier League season. Just to quickly show you, the teams are the same basically, they are identical. The transfer window is open so changes can be made but I doubt there will be anything massive. But Messi, uh, Suarez, everybody is there in the Barcelona team and in the Real Madrid team. We've still got Cristiano Ronaldo, we've still got Gareth Bale, all those top top players, they still are in the club. So identical teams to what would be in real life, uh, no changes have been made, don't worry. Okay, we are halfway through the season. How are things going for Barcelona and Real Madrid? Well, Real Madrid, you'll notice straight away, having a good season. 13 wins, 5 draws, only 3 losses. They are sitting top of the table. To be honest, what you'd expect. They are the strongest team by a mile heading into this season. Um, so, a very decent season so far for them. Barcelona, on the other hand, a bit slow. They're, they're sitting 8th, I suppose, only 5 points away from the top 4. 5 points adrift. So, not the worst season in the world for Barcelona, but I mean for a team of Barcelona size, 8th place probably is not what they will be looking to push for, so an improvement is needed on that front for Barcelona, so there you go, Real Madrid right now controlling the race for the Premier League title, especially out of those two, Ronaldo is the man scoring goals, 11 goals in the first half of the season, he is top scorer in the league, he's having a fantastic season, he is also heading the assist list. I mean, brilliant from Ronaldo, best player in the world, and he's proven it here. 11 goals, 6 assists in the first half, keeping up his great form in the Premier League. As for clean sheets, I'll try and have a quick look. There we go, Keylor Navas, 8 clean sheets. So, a brilliant start to the season for Real Madrid and Cristiano Ronaldo especially. Still a bit of work to do for Barcelona. Barcelona scoring 32 goals, Real Madrid scoring 38. Barcelona conceding 21 and, Bar eh, and Real Madrid conceding 16. So goal differences uh, double for Real Madrid, 22 as Barcelona sit on 11. That is the league table. Keep it in mind. I will come back at the end of the season and uh, see if it's still going as well for Real Madrid and if Barcelona managed to pull anything back. There's still a long way to go. I'm actually interested to see uh, what the score would have been in the, the first El Clasico of the season. So I don't know when it would have been. That's going to be quite difficult to find. I'll update you when I find it. So there's the first Old Firm game. It was on the 9th of December. Barcelona 
actually got the win. 2-1 uh, at the new Camp. So Barcelona were at home. Had the home field advantage. But a 2-1 win against top of the league Real Madrid. So not a bad result for Barcelona on that front. But obviously still slacking in the league. Right then. So the competitions. How did everyone do? How did the season end in England? Well, none of the teams, not Barcelona or Real Madrid, won the FA Cup. Because West Ham, in fact, went and won the FA Cup. Barcelona, the only two, one out of the two to get to the last 16, in fact, where they were put out off of Tottenham, uh, which probably isn't uh, great for the two, you know, top Spanish sides. They didn't get very far, so there you go. FA Cup was won by West Ham. As for the Carabao Cup, the League Cup, Chelsea managed to win that. Well, there you go, penalties. Real Madrid was put out on in the quarterfinals. And Leeds, Leeds United, Leeds put Barcelona out on penalties in the round of 16, a massive upset there, I mean look at Leeds and Wigan, Leeds got all the way to the semis, but Barcelona knocked out penalties, drawn 2 all in the League Cup with Leeds, and Real put out off of Chelsea, who eventually went on to win the whole competition, Champions League should be up next, there is Champions League, not done yet, but Barcelona are in the final. Real Madrid got put out off of Barcelona, so really kind of cancelling each other out there to see if both of them could have got to the final. Very potentially could have, have not uh, been have drawn each other. So Barcelona are in the final. We'll have to sim and see if they win it, but Bay for Bay, Dortmund are playing them in the final. So a tough final for Barcelona, but they have made it to the final, which is very good to see. Europa League, we don't give a toss about. World Cup, we don't care. But the Premier League, well, oh well. How it changed in the course of six months. Real Madrid, who were top, ended up dropping out of the top four and will in fact miss out in the Champions League. Surely that's the first time they've missed out the Champions League in absolute donkeys. Real Madrid finishing fifth. A slow, a difficult second half to the season. Barcelona, though, a very good second half of the season. And they were not far off of challenging for that title. Six points adrift from the top, but... Coming from, I think it was 8th, to finishing third decent second half of the season for Barcelona. But Real Madrid really, really struggling. And it's the draws that cost them, if you look. They didn't have too many losses. Um, but the draws, 13 draws, not good enough for Real Madrid. And it made them slip out of the top four. So massive there. Barcelona and Real Madrid not managing to win the title. Not managing to win any of the Cups. Barcelona could win the Champions League, to be fair, but not a very successful season on the club front. As for the players, did Ronaldo continue his amazing season? He slipped off of top scorer and actually only got himself five goals in the second half of the season. That's crazy. Five goals in the second half. Ronaldo finishing on 16. Suarez on 13. Vasquez getting 12. I wonder if Ronaldo got an injury. Delefeu getting 11. I don't see any sign of Messi. Messi not in there. Assists. Suarez managed to finish top. Ronaldo once again slowing down quite a bit. Messi not in there either to be seen. Did Barcelona get rid of Messi or something? That is mad. Suarez finishing top of the assist list. Clean, clean sheets. Navas also slipping down that as well so a very very difficult season if we quickly go and look well second half to the season Barcelona most appearances Busquets most goals Luis Suarez Lionel Messi only getting four goals but 15 appearances which must mean he picked up a big injury by only making 15 appearances that would suggest so so a big boy Barcelona season and who knows he could have maybe challenged for the title maybe could have got the title if it wasn't for that injury Real Madrid have a quick look at them. Ronaldo, I think, may have picked up an injury. He did only get 29 appearances. Uh, so, very potentially, he may have got an injury at some point in the season. Most goals, Ronaldo did still finish with most goals. But Vasquez came in. Firmino was actually bought for Real as well. Bale having an absolute honker of a season. Only 6 appearances. Same with Benzema. A lot of big players not delivering for Real Madrid. And as you can see, the, the highest average player was Alvaro Tejero or something. Te Tejero. Not a very good season at all for Real Madrid. But Barcelona, will they win the Champions League? We'll round off this episode by seeing if they can. And uh, then we'll end it off. They did do it. They, they did do it. Barcelona, the only team out of the two to pick up silverware. Having the Champions League brought to the new Camp. Very good achievement, I suppose. Sitting for the Premier League. 
you know, not too bad along with a Champions League. For an English team, that would be a very successful season. So do we count that as a very successful season for Barcelona? I would say we do. But at the same time, it does show maybe it wouldn't be as easy as a lot of people think for Barcelona and Real in the Premier League. But obviously, this is just a video game. So we'll never know. We'll never, never know. Um, but aye, there you go. That's how it ended. Spurs, the champions, as questionable as Real sitting fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments more if you want. Let me know what you thought of it and if you enjoy the concept of this. And I make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.